Hello guys, in this video we will be taking a look at the assembly building and all the parts and UI changes in KSP2. Please like this video and subscribe to channel and comment your ideas. It makes me happy. So let's get started. Let's start by taking a look at the UI changes inside the assembly building. We can see the menu style has not changed much but all the parts are now sorted according to the size and marked with size badges. And firsthand, we can see cockpit section. Here we can see they have finally divided probes, rover module, crew modules, and cockpits. I was wishing for this from like five years ago. Can see some probes are new and rest of them are same from KSP1. And now all cockpits and crew modules has transparent glass. Coming into the fuel tank section, while this is new deal, they have introduced different type of fuels. Now true simulation will work because different fuel react differently with thrust, weight, temperature. Okay, coming back to fuel tanks. We have all the tanks for each fuel type. Fuel types are methanol, hydrogen, and monopropellant. And click sound is kind of satisfying. If you didn't notice, the sound get deeper as you scroll down amazing okay most interesting part the engine section if you have played ksp1 you should remember the mammoth engine it was looking mid in this game so there are a lot of bigger engines are added the big sized engines are meant to use in interstellar traveling to different galaxies and solar systems which will be added upcoming updates engines are also fuel based in here divided by sizes all clean ui we can see some of the engines making back from KSP-1. All the engine sounds are the real-life launch recorded sounds. We can see the solid boosters. I think these is not it. More boosters will be added in next updates. There are jet engines and only one monopropellant engine, huh? one xenon engine, and some hydrogen engines. Coming to this section, I called this section the whole time I player KSP, a strut section, actually it called something else I can't remember it at this point, apogees. We can see struct, clamps, engine mounts, adapters, and beams, panels, hub, truss. Oh, wow, this section is popular. Okay, now, switching to the coupler section. All items sorted, neat and clean. All type of couplers, redial, stack, and normal. Okay, we have five size of docking port. Oh man, this unlocks a lot of potential to build space stations and interplanetary ships. And cargo section, another size ingress, five type of fairing. Cargo bays, a lot of options, nice to have those. Crew cabins and some support parts. Pretty cool. Moving on to aerodynamic section, parts to make your ship more air resistant, bunch of nose cones, intake valves, nice, a lot of wings, stabilizers, controlled surface wings, good. I don't use this section unless making a SSTO, so moving to landing gear section, AKS, the wheel section, what is this only one, new landing leg, I expected more, but let's not forget this is not final release yet. Landing gears and wheels are same as KSP-1, nothing pretty new. Next heat shield section, it's all the same, okay. Moving on, betray or electric section, oh, although. The batteries are same, but new models and textures will do the job. They definitely will add some more large batteries because the xenon thruster used for interplanetary travel will drain those fast. To sustain those anti-gravity ships, we need bigger batteries. If they have plans to add anti-gravity parts, just for aesthetic purposes though. And finally, generators, fuel and radioactives. Switching to the connection section. Man, they need to add a lot with those updates. All of the antennas are old. We need pretty beefy antennas to communicate for another galaxy or we won't be able to maybe. Coming up to last section. I call it parachute section five different parachute reaction control thrusters same stabilizers we need more parts okay 
cool lights, they added some, and ladders. Here the parts list come to an end. Man, I wish they have added some more parts, but no worries, they will add them with their suitable updates. Remember this is not finale game, this is early access, full release will happen maybe after one year from now. This is a huge game, with eggless possibilities, the more you want to enjoy this game, the more developers want to make your experience great with their work. So let's give them the time they are asking for. We don't want this game to be end up like Cyberpunk. Okay that it for this video guys, I will be buying this early access and making all the tutorial and live streaming. So if you like this vid, please like and subscribe and comment your next video ideas. And thank you for watching till the end. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.